In this video, we will move from grammar up to entire sentences. I will show you how you can use ChatGPT both to improve the flow and the sound of your sentences, and also how ChatGPT can rewrite your sentences. It can transform your sentences into a different style that has a different tone. Okay, let's dive right in. So here I have text pasted into the prompt window. And my instructions, my prompt to ChatGPT is, the following sentence feels clunky to me. Now, this is great because feels clunky, this is not formal technical language. This is not the way that you would speak to a grammarian or a linguist. But ChatGPT is designed to process and understand natural language. And saying that a sentence feels clunky is definitely a natural language way of describing it. Okay, so um, I'm asking ChatGPT, please rewrite the sentence so that it's smoother. Again, what does smoother mean? ChatGPT will understand based on context from the web what this term means with smoother and easier to read. And then I'm also telling ChatGPT that uh, it can use multiple sentences if that will help. It is not constrained to keep its response in one sentence. Now, if you like, you can pause the video and read this entire sentence. This is taken from a grant proposal of mine from several years ago, and uh, I intentionally made it a little bit uh, clunky, and I just combined multiple sentences into one to make it a really difficult sentence to process. Okay, also it's quite technical, right? This is not the normal colloquial language. Okay, and ChatGPT says the sentence is indeed quite complex and packed with information. Here's a simple version broken down into multiple sentences as I offered it to. If you like, you can pause the video, maybe go back a few seconds to read the original paragraph and then reread uh, or sentence and then reread this section, but it really reads much smoother but maybe it's too smooth. So now I have another prompt for ChatGPT. Now I'm asking ChatGPT to rewrite that previous sentence so that it sounds dry and technical. It will be read by experts in the field, and I want them to be impressed by the seriousness of the proposal. Now, let's forget about for a moment the fact that seriousness of a proposal doesn't necessarily mean that the text has to be dry and technical but I'm illustrating to you the ways of interacting with ChatGPT, again, using natural language. I'm providing context. I'm giving ChatGPT instructions for what I want it to do. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT comes up with here. Okay, so uh, if you like, you can pause uh, the video and read this. This is, I, I don't think this is an improvement, to be honest. The longstanding postulation asserts that dopamine potentiates blah, blah, blah. What was another good thing? Despite prolonged speculative discourse, what a terrible collection of words. Okay, so I think this is actually worse than my original construction of this really long sentence. Nonetheless, this does sound more dry and technical and serious. And so it is certainly more appropriate for experts in the field and therefore, you know, I use this as an educational example to highlight how you can prompt ChatGPT to give you a specific tone, and it's going to do its best, even if that tone is not necessarily uh, giving good output. Okay, so now let's say that is way too technical, or maybe for this grant proposal, we also need a general public summary. So now I'm asking ChatGPT, please rewrite it for a general audience that is not familiar with the techniques, but should be able to understand the general idea and importance. Okay, and let's see how ChatGPT does here. Okay, so this the language now is quite different already. For a long time, scientists have thought that dopamine, a chemical in our brain, helps us learn by improving communication. This is a word that I use, synchronization temporal windows of synchronization, and here ChatGPT is using communication. This is really great. ChatGPT also understands that low-frequency words like optogenetics and uh, high-fidelity multi-site recordings, I forget exactly which uh, terms I use, 
And instead, ChatGPT is just writing some sophisticated tools to watch and control brain activity. Okay, I think this might be a little bit too colloquial. Um, if you are writing this for a public summary, what I would do is take this paragraph, not use this verbatim, but take this paragraph as starter text. And then you can massage this, you can inject your own style, you can change it. Um, so you are using ChatGPT to help you write better and you're not just taking ChatGPT's output verbatim. Okay, one final demo I would like to show you in this video is uh, to, to ask ChatGPT to rewrite that paragraph, that passage, using the principles of Strunk and White. If you are not familiar with Strunk and White, it is a very short style guide. It was written uh, in the early, initially in the early 20th century, uh, 1910s maybe around. Uh, and then it was actually, you know, I mean, I'm just going to ask this. Uh, when was the original Strunk and White style book written? The original version of the Elements of Style, often referred to as Strunk and White, was written by Strunk in 1918. Okay, so I was correct. Okay, I'm going to stop generating there. This is one of the few style books that I really do recommend. It's very short. You can read it in, I don't know, an hour. Um, it's past its copyright, so you can find it for free online. You can also purchase a copy if you want to have a physical copy. Um, and it's a, it's a very good style guide. It's not perfect. Uh, it's controversial. Uh, they actually make some recommendations that linguists and grammarians will disagree with. But overall, they do make some very good points. It's certainly a very famous and well-known style guide. Okay, so I am asking ChatGPT to rewrite that. Now I'm going to clarify that. Passage, passage about dopamine. And that's just to make sure that... Um, ChatGPT understands I'm referring to this text here that we were working with and not the most recent output it gave. Using the principles of Strunk and White. Okay, so now I'm asking not only to rewrite it, but to describe the changes that ChatGPT made and how each of those changes fits with the principles of Strunk and White. Okay, now uh, my session has expired. This happens occasionally when you are using ChatGPT. I'm not going to edit this out of the video because exactly what you see now is the part of using ChatGPT. So it's something you can expect. There are limits to um, using ChatGPT, which when I'm teaching with ChatGPT, I often run into those limits. And when uh, ChatGPT is particularly busy, when many, many people are using it, then it can just shut you out. Okay, so I logged back in and all of my previous chat, everything was saved. I didn't lose anything. So that's already good to know. And yeah, so here was my uh, response, which I did have to paste back in. Uh, rewrite using the uh, principles of Strunk and White. Okay, so now you can see this recommendation from Strunk and White you are probably familiar with. Omit needless words, use the active voice, avoid a succession of loose sentences, and so on. And now, actually, ChatGPT did not do exactly what I asked. I asked for it to rewrite the passage and not just say what changes it would make. So I'm going to ask it again. Please rewrite the passage about uh, dopamine using the principles. Okay, so I clicked on stop uh, response just because this list here was starting to get a little bit redundant. But you can see that it rewrote the um, passage, and uh, actually it's much shorter now than it was in any of the previous rewrites. I hope you found this video useful and instructive and very interesting. You saw that we can ask ChatGPT to modify a sentence, to rewrite a sentence using different styles, different tones, based on specific prompts that we can provide.